of the woods. Now, the Met Office has issued a couple of amber wind warnings, sweeps in off the Atlantic, gusts of wind over 100 miles an hour, will be damaging winds to southern coastal towns of England, strong enough to rip roofs off buildings. Most of the winds could damage trees and buildings. Fierce, violent winds come behind this cold front, gusting over 100 miles an hour in places. Roofs get ripped off buildings. Welcome back to another video. Today, I was going to say it's a bit of a scary one because we are in the middle of a huge storm. Um, last night, all in the news, there was, um, I think we've got a red warning, so that means that there's threat to life. Um, the horses, unfortunately, are going to have to be in today, and I thought I would vlog our whole experience in the storm. It was really bad first thing this morning, and it's supposed to be like not like, I was going to say not too bad, not as dangerous, and it's supposed to be getting really bad again at about three, four o'clock, so later on this afternoon. So I thought I would show you um, what I'm getting up to with the horses, how I'm gonna try and keep them as safe as possible. For me and my horses, I always love to give them as much turnout as possible, but unfortunately today, it's just not safe. Last time we had a big storm like this, there was bits of like roof flying around. Um, apparently loads of trees are gonna fall down as well. Quite a few trees um, fell down last night as well, and I just don't think it's gonna be safe for them to be out, especially as the ground is so wet and so horrible. But anyway, first thing I'm gonna do is, obviously they've had their breakfast, all that kind of stuff, but um, we're gonna get them mucked out. You guys are gonna have a bit of a duvet day, aren't you, Joey? I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm wearing a duvet. Um, Lemieux have very kindly sent me, you might have seen a different vlog, um, the new autumn winter collection and I feel like this coat, I, we were going to take some really nice, you know, photos, that kind of thing, but today I'm just going to wear it, I'm going to basically test it out. I mean, I'm testing it against Mickey's slobber right now, but in the best way possible I do feel like I'm wearing a duvet, like this is so comfy and warm. But anyway, time to get you guys mucked out, hey? Get your stables all clean, ready for your duvet day. Are you excited for your duvet day, Mickey? Yeah. Good man. You're gonna get so much treats, so many treats, so much attention. Yes. 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 <laughs> you are so cute. Oh, I found Mickey's scratchy spot. Look at that, look at that top lip. Have I found your scratchy spot? I mean, you are a bit filthy. We can give you a groom as well. Yeah, get you clean and happy. Yeah. Oh, you're like a big polar bear. Yeah. You're so cuddly, my mix. So cuddly. So I've just put Joey outside with a haylage net. Of course, it's raining a little bit. Luckily, it's not windy now. The wind has stopped for a little bit, so I can quickly get them out while I muck them out. So anyway, we're going to make your stable all nice and clean. I mean, if Joey has food, he is happy. He seems very content right now. Also, if I take you over here, we have a huge delivery of Silvermore Haylage, who have very kindly sent us a load, which I feel like is the best time to have a delivery just before a storm. So we are fully stocked up. We're definitely not going to be running out of haylage anytime soon, even if the boys are going to be in a little bit longer than usual for the whole day, having their duvet day. But anyway, I'm going to have to put this away in the, um, I was going to say the haylage room. We call it the storeroom, but I guess it's pretty much mainly the haylage room. I'm going to have to do that, make some haylage nets. But anyway, time to muck out Joey's stable. Hopefully it's not too muddy at the muck heap. Feeling it might be. The 
it's so wet and so cold. I love my horses. I love my horses. I love my horses. It's worth it, I promise. Oh. shavings and giving them a big kick is still the most satisfying part of mucking out. Alrighty, I have just been checking the weather and at the moment it's between 40 and 50 mile an hour winds, which isn't too bad here at the stables. Thank you Casper, for using me as a scratching post. Thank you. <laughs> you are so sassy. He's like, girl, why are you talking to the camera when you could be talking to me? Anyway, luckily it's not too bad here because we're kind of sheltered by the pine forest and also like the way it's facing like we're, we're, we're sheltered from the wind here, which is pretty good. However, it's supposed to be getting up to 90 or 100 miles an hour later. So probably not the best for you to be running around in the rain. No, no, no. Shall I get you some snackies? Yes, I think some snackies are in order. Hey, Gasp? Yeah. Do you want an ear scratch? Ear scratch? Ear scratch? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Here come Jojo. The thing about making a lovely nice bed is that he's going to come in here and he's going to trash it. Normally what Joey likes to do is he likes to wee as soon as he gets new shavings. I've got a bucket so I'm going to try and catch it. Oh. Yeah, you just have your wee. Nothing here. You have your wee. I know you need one. There's nothing in it. It's to catch your wee. I'm going to try and catch it to show you. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's like giving it a proper sass. He's doing the wee-wee dance. He just likes to do a little circle. Oh, here we come. Oh. Go on, go wee-wees. Go on, do your wee. <laughs> oh no, he stopped. I don't have anything. It's just your wee. Huh. He's sniffing his own piss. Joey, does it smell? Is it stinky? <laughs> does not look impressed. <laughs> He's just sniffing it. We need to get out, we can't see his beautiful sniffing face. Joey, stop smelling your own wee, that's disgusting. <laughs> Joey, you're so gross. Everyone, look at my teeth. <laughs> look at my teeth, everyone. Oh, he's still going. <laughs> he's still going right in the camera. <laughs> oh, there we go. I got it. <laughs> Looks like Joey is a bit of a shy weir, so I think we're going to have to practice that. Stop sniffing your own wee, that's really disgusting. <laughs> that's really disgusting, why do you keep sniffing it? This isn't even a food but, oh! <laughs> Wet ear, I don't even know if that was your wee on your nose. <laughs> oh, Joey. <laughs> this isn't even a food bucket, it's a wash bucket. Yes, for washing your butt bottom. Mm-hmm. Wow, <laughs> he's proper smelling. He proper smelling, is that stinky? Yes, that's what your stable smells of. <laughs> Thank you. Do I smell? Is that what it is? I smell of your wee because I've just been mucking out your stable. <laughs> Good boy. All right, so Joey has a new rug on. I'm just going to give him his treat ball to keep him occupied, but it's the new Araka rug. I never know how to pronounce it. Is it Araka, Arika? But it does look very cool. Um, of course, it is a waterproof New Zealand because British weather. It is a zero gram one because he is just so fluffy and I feel like um, this week he does need clipping because, oh my gosh, Joey, you're being so noisy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he? Oh no, he has got some out. Um, it's got the um, reflective on, so if your horse is like Joey and likes to hide in the field, in the woods or in the trees, and you can't find them and you think, oh my gosh, I've lost my horse. 
with a torch, easy to find. Also, there is this extra kind of skirting here, so the water drips off this bit rather than this bit, so they don't get as wet. And these bits are angled as well, so they don't ride up. So Joey will be our test horse, testing this rug out for you all. Um, I'm gonna leave him to his ball because he does seem rather preoccupied, but very happy. There we go, enjoy playing with your ball, Joey. He is like a Labrador, isn't he? Don't eat the shavings. Alrighty, time to open up the haylage and make some haylage nets and oh my gosh, this stuff always smells so good. <laughs> I've always felt really creepy when I give it like a good old sniff, but it does just smell amazing. It smells like almost good enough to eat, like I could put that in a bowl with some milk and have it as cereal. Wouldn't recommend that, but it does smell good enough for human consumption. Um, but anyway, I'm going to make a little net now for the boys to um, keep their bellies full and their hearts happy. Also, if you're wondering, yes, this is uh, Joey's hay net because it has very small holes. Because if he has the big hold hay nets, he will literally finish it in 10 minutes, like gone. Which isn't great, especially when a hay net is supposed to... Last them the whole night because horses, they need to eat little but often. They always need to have something to nibble on. There we go. We're getting there. Alrighty, that is one horse done. We now have three more to go. Alrighty, we are now off to the donkeys next. Obviously they've had their breakfast and everything so far this morning, but to give them another check because I feel like I'm such like a paranoid mum. Whenever this is some sort of storm or some sort of thing going on, I'm like, I must check all the animals at all hours of the day. So anyway, we're going to head over to them now. You know it's windy because their buckets have blown over. Hey donkeys! Hi donkeys! Hello. So in the big, like newer field shelter, we have Willow and we have Bruno. And Bruno, I think as I was walking up, looks like he's just got up. So it's good news that he can sometimes still get up on himself or by himself because um, Bruno had a stroke, we think, back in the spring. And he's been like a little bit, a little bit wobbly on his legs. So most mornings, our kind of morning routine is lifting Bruno up because he, he does try, bless him, he really does try to get up, but sometimes he just needs a bit of a helping hand. But anyway, you guys look a little bit wet. Have you been out having some, some grass? Um, the donkeys, on the other hand, they... Oh, are you having a stretch, Bruno? Hello, mate. Do you want to come and have a cuddle? Oh, my babies. But anyway, um, yeah, the donkeys, we're not shutting them in just because we, um, they're actually quite sensible and will stay in and won't run around and won't, you know, go for, go mental because, I mean, they're, they're all very old and very elderly. Um, so they don't really go far from the field shelter nowadays, to be honest. We'll go and say hello to Toby, though, because, oh, oh it's right on cue. Hello, Tobs. You come to say hello? Hey, mister. He was actually in the old field shelter that we call like Willow's shelter. And that's because um, even when we had this new one built, for some reason, Willow prefers the old one and will still stand in the old one all day, every day. So it's really weird that you were in Willow's one. Maybe, you you know, you, he is like the king donkey now. He is the, the leader of the herd. So maybe he kicked Willow out and that's why she's in here. I don't know, I'll show it to you though, because we've made some modifications. We've done, we've done Willow's shelter up. So this shelter we think has been here for around 40 years. So pretty much like Willow's whole life basically, because what the donkeys are in like their thirties, mid thirties, I want to say. Anyway, this is where Willow likes to stand before there was like a hole here and a hole here and sometimes she would stand and like have her little eyes poking through the hole. So now she can actually stand here, have her little, she has a little head round the corner, but there's haylage in here, there's shavings, that kind of thing. And she just likes it. She like, I think she likes standing here because she can see across, you know, the whole kind of the, the, the land. <laughs> she can see, we'll look at my grandparents into their house when they're like gardening outside. She's quite nosy. So I don't know, I guess it just feels like home to her. This is like what she's always had. and. She much prefers it to a brand new, much bigger, much warmer 
stable but there we go if it makes willow happy it makes willow happy so we had a guy come in and fix some of the paneling for her so it's a little bit warmer it's a little bit more sturdy so it won't be falling down on her but yeah she still loves it all right so that's probably enough time wasting with the donkeys you guys are the biggest time wasters because you just want all the cuddles all the time yes they are very very sweet but they all look all good they've like been fed this morning i've mucked them out like kind of thing so you're just happy you're just happy also where they are their field is a lot more sheltered they've got all the woods like behind them so you guys are all good the horses are a little bit more exposed in their fields you guys seem okay I'll come and check you when it's 100 mile an hour winds and see if you're not lying down in the middle of the field like a silly and can't get up and are worried the tree's going to land on you. No. Good man. You'll be fine. You're all good. Got a bucket. Other buckets. gosh <sighs> it's a bit windy out there <laughs> anyway um i'm currently in the horse box not because it's going out anywhere fun definitely not the weather for that i'm actually moving it because at the moment it's currently facing kind of like a, basically i'm worried well i'm not worried but i'm a bit cautious making sure the horse box basically isn't like facing the wind i don't want it to like blow over so i'm gonna move it into a better safer position that's also not under any trees oh joseph have you had a bit of a sleep you're covered in shavings <laughs> you've got bed heads hey have you had a bit of a snooze a bit of an afternoon snooze yes Oh, okay. You put your head on. So you're trying to get the bubble. What are you doing, silly? What are you doing? Oh, neck scratch. <laughs> ah, that's my hat. Joey! No! It's all wet! No! Ah. Oh. I've got my, my, my rosemary oil in my hair. I've got hair wash day today, so we can't, can't be letting everyone see my, my oily hair. No, you're exposing me to YouTube. You are, you're exposing your mummy. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Thank you. No, you're not eating the hat. No hat eating, not for Joey's. No. Oh, that's my finger. Yes. Good boy. Okay. All right, so I'm back at the yard just before it's supposed to get really windy and rainy. And I'm going to give them some more haylage, some more snacks, which you love. You love the extra snacks, don't you, Duke? Duke is, I was going to say he looks taller than he is. He's got like a little step that he can put his front hooves on so he can just about look over the stable door. Can't you? You're a tall boy now. Yes, he's still like 10 hands high. But anyway, I mean, look how dark his mane has got over the years. I swear, as we've gone into winter, his mane is so dark. It used to be like a flaxeny, beigey kind of colour. And now it's just gone black. It's so strange. I feel like horses often get lighter, not darker, but there we go. Anyway, this little guy, oh, oh, he's kicking. He's on a rampage. He's like, give me the extra treats. So anyway, we're going to give them some more snacks to keep them happy while it's really, really windy. Hey. You having a tantrum, little baby? You having a tantrum? Yes. Yes. Yes, little chin, chin, chin tickles. Oh, Mickey, have you had a drink? He always sticks his tongue out after a drink. Yeah. Your tongue all wet. Are you just letting it just stick out there for a bit? Oh, Mickey, you're so cute. Look at your little tongue. He's sticking out. What are you doing that for? Hey. Oh, he's dribbling a little bit as well. <laughs> to keep the horses occupied while, I was going to say box rest. They're, they're kind of like on box rest for the day. I'd rather say duvet day. That sounds more fun. Um, but anyway, I have some grass of which from Food Battle is the Brick of Wonder, which 
will be coming out hopefully very soon. I filmed it, so keep your eyes peeled for that. But anyway, I'm gonna put it in the little mini haylage net that I have here. And this one is gonna be Joey's, which I think he can smell. He keeps kind of poking his nose around the stable door. I think he knows that it's coming. Oh, the, the only thing I'd say with these is they are quite messy when you put them in. There we go. All right, Joey, I got your little net. Kevin three. All right, I'm just tying it to the swinger string. I like to do like a bit of a hybrid. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe not. I was gonna say, so he finds it more difficult to chew, but he's found, he's just put it against the wall. He's too good at this. You've had all that time on box rest and now, yeah, he just finds it too easy. Too easy, hey, Joey? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get out of the firing zone here. I'm gonna get all snot on me. <laughs> Trying to get it, it's right at the bottom. All right, I've got a turmeric one that I'm gonna give to Casper on the floor actually because he's not very good at the brick of wonder. <laughs> oh, Gaspy. I know it's coming. Ah, don't be rude. Don't be rude, be patient, please. Where have your manners gone, hey? Wait. Okay, back. Ah, ah, ah. Back it up. Back it up. Good boy. There we go. Have it on the ground. Joey, you've literally got a grass mix right there. Why are you getting all sassy? You've literally, you've got food. You're not getting anything else. I don't know what you're, I don't know what you want, mate. But you've literally got it. That is what I've been giving everyone else. Why are you getting so sassy? Why are you getting so sassy? You are so funny. I'm just getting angry now. Mate, you've literally got it, there we go. So I've just checked the weather and it's about one hour until we have the 100 mile an hour winds. Then it will be dark, so I don't know how much I'll be able to film. So I think I'm gonna to finish today's video here. I really hope you enjoyed seeing my sort of storm prep routine, how I look after the horses when we have some extreme weather. They all seem very happy with their extra treats, extra snacks, duvets on nice shavings in their stables and obviously we've been doing lots of things to try and make things interesting for them. Might put the radio on as well actually, that'll be quite good for them to listen to even when the storm's come, kind of going on with the wind to help distract them. But anyway, thank you so much everybody for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time. Bye!